So the split pivot suspension is actually really simple when it, in terms of suspension systems. It has a single pivot for acceleration. There's no trickery there. As you can see, the rear wheel is connected directly to this wheel link, and it pivots around this main pivot here in the frame. From a braking standpoint, the brake is actually a floating brake. So it actually floats between the wheel link and what we call a control link here. And it floats on this concentric axle pivot right here. What that lets me do is actually separate braking forces from acceleration forces in a really easy and lightweight, lightweight package to build. The control link is this member up here and it rigidly pivots on the frame and is attached to the brake link back here. We use a geometry adjusting chip here. So in the back you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but this oval chip here, you can actually flip it one way or the other, and that'll allow us to change the geometry of the bike. So one position is higher and steeper, one position is lower and slacker. From a suspension standpoint, using this really short control link lets us get a lot of leverage ratio control and a lot of ratio change in the leverage ratio. Basically, it's technical speak for saying that we're really controlling how the bike is supported as it moves through the, through the middle of the travel. So you get a lot of cornering support, but at the same time, you get a lot of early travel supplements. Um, it's a tricky prospect because it ends up having a balance, braking forces and that leverage ratio control all in one, one piece, but with really careful kinematics, we make it happen. Uh, all in all, it translates into a bike that's really lightweight, it's adjustable, easy to, easy to set up and tune, and uh, makes a lot of traction on the trail.